Hey guys, it's Brian. Welcome to this really fun DIY. Today we're gonna be making something to store brushes, pens, or anything like that. So for that, we're gonna be using this cardboard rolls, and I'm using just toilet paper. If that's super awkward, sorry about that. But if you want, you can use this the kitchen stuff. But I wanted to go for this ones because they are cut it already. So because I'm going to be using this for my makeup brushes, if I just add my makeup brushes, this happens because there's no like weight on them. So I'm going to be adding something to add some weight but first I'm going to be making the shape of this these are gonna be like lipsticks so I'm just going to make the the shape of a lipstick and I'm just going to be marking that with my sharpie and then I'm just gonna cut it and finally I'm just going to shape the whole thing and then as far as for the weight goes I'm going to be using my air dry clay but I'm going to be making this kind of like coins they're not coins it's like these shapes like round shapes this is going to add a bunch of weight towards the bottom part of these rolls I'm just going to be making them a bit bigger or if not the same size and that the bottom part is because I want my rolls to be sitting on top of those. So I'm just going to wait for those to dry. They were dry overnight but then I'm going to be gluing them with my hot glue gun. Using a hot glue gun to uh, glue this is like the best option that I found because super glue for instance doesn't really work with this kind of clay. Then I'm going to be painting my lipsticks with this pink and this red. I'm going to be covering all the inside, giving uh, the inside a few coats and then the outside. The outside, I'm not going to be covering the whole thing because this part on the top is like that is going to be visible anyway. So I just want, don't want to waste any uh, paint. And here I'm just doing one in red and then i'm going to be taking this foam sheets for the design itself the design that i wanted to go for is like you open the lipstick and there's a bit that is gold or sometimes silver on the lipstick and this is what this part is going to be so i'm just going to be marking how much of that i want uh, my lipstick to have and then i'm just going to be making a straight line of that and i'm just going to cut it until i have this and that is going to go around my lipstick and yeah i'm just going to be gluing that with my helco gun but just in the bottom part because i'm going to be needing the uh, top part to be free of anything if that makes any sense because once i have done that i'm just going to be cutting uh, pieces of paper and then i'm just going to be kind of placing that piece of paper in between my cardboard and in between my uh, sheet foam uh, it's going to be a lot easier for next step, which is painting this Ingle acrylic paint. And I'm going to be focusing a lot on the top part because I want it to be like gold, not yellow. But you don't need to go all the way down in this one as well. I'm going to add the first coat and before it dries, I'm going to remove those pieces of paper. I'm not showing you this here because I lost the footage, but in a minute, I'm going to show you a similar footage. And then I carry on with the next coats. And then I'm going to be taking another foam sheet this is going to be like the outside part of the lipstick so just choose how much you want or how how you want it to be and then i'm just going to be using my hot glue gun and just gluing the bottom part and gluing that on top of the uh, gold part and then I'm going to be doing the same thing with the papers. I'm going to be adding papers in between this foam sheet and the previous one that I had before. I'm just going to paint it with some black acrylic paint. Here's a similar thing that I was talking I did. Just add the first coat and then remove those pieces of paper. And once the first coat is dry, carry on with more coats. And to just let it dry, I'm just going to place them upside down over these bottles of acrylic paint until they are dry. Once that part is dry, I'm going to be, I guess, protecting my design and adding somewhat of a shine with this gloss. And I'm just going to spray it using my gloves. Work outside because the scent that this one has is like intense. But yeah, I'm just going to be covering the whole thing, giving this three coats until it's got a shine to it that I really like. And that's pretty much the idea that I wanted to share. If you want to go for a brand name, just go ahead and do that. I really, really love them because I think lipsticks are just super cute to look at this took me actually a week to make i went back and forth changing a few things here and there because i wanted to share like the easiest option but i love the final result i'm going to be personally using this for my makeup brushes but you can use this for pencils pens you know markers sharpies and anything else that needs storage i really hope you like them if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up helps out don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and don't forget to share it so more people can watch thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you on saturday and take care. Bye, guys.